Well, hello and welcome back to my office. It's Monday and normally on a Monday I would do a picking orders video. But over the weekend I have been picking and packing as the orders came in and taking advantage of the really heavy discounts on Packlink um, through eBay. So check that out if you haven't uh, looked at it. Hermes prices are like half what they normally are. So I've been picking and packing through the weekend and getting everything shipped out as and when it came in. So there was a bunch of stuff going this morning, but not really enough to warrant a video. But what I did want to do today is, if you see here in the office, it's looking sparse, right? There's holes everywhere and there's not actually a great deal of stock. So what I want to do is condense everything to the back of the office and see how much space I end up with down here and then I think I'm going to venture back into the loft and not today maybe tomorrow and see what is actually left up there apart from loads of shoes because that's where a lot of the shoes are and bring down whatever stock I can from the loft but before we start that I'm going to do a time lapse basically and you'll see me trying to sort this chaos out but before that, let me show you this. I had a message from um, Bill, fellow reseller, YouTuber, tipping me off that somewhere in Hitchin, somebody was giving away a whole ream of paper. So I messaged them and they said, um, I've actually just chucked it in a skip. So I said, it's really dark down here. So I said, um, is it still in the skip? And they said, yes, but it's raining. <laughs> I said, well, that's fine. I'll come around and have a look. So I went around there. This was so big and so heavy, this full ream of paper. Couldn't even lift it out of the skip. But what they did have was, I'll pop you down here, loads and loads of wallpaper in the same skip. So I've mentioned before, I like to pick up wallpaper from boot sales and jumble sales and use it for void fill. Recently I actually paid £30 for a load of void fill packing paper. Um, but happy to pick these up for free. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, a kind of half roll, and a couple more half rolls. So about 14 or 15 rolls of wallpaper for nothing that was chucked in the skip. So that makes me very happy because it uses it, it saves me buying void fill, and it doesn't go to landfill. This stuff would have gone straight into landfill. So it was a shame I couldn't rescue the whole ream of paper, but it was it was huge, like about this long and about this wide, weighed a ton and it was right down in the skip. There was no way on my own I was going to get it out. Um, but I messaged the lady and said I, I couldn't salvage the ream of paper, but I did take all of your wallpaper and she was more than happy about that. So yeah, very pleased with that. So it's a little while later and I'm about ready to try and condense all of this behind me and all this stuff up here. See there's gaps everywhere. So I'm going to find a place to perch you. I assume it would be best down here. We'll make the tripod work. Something like that. And we'll see how we get on. Okay, um, we're getting somewhere, um, but there's a lot more stuff to sort out than I imagined. 
I've just moved all these books from here. I'm going to process those today. They are either going to be um, listed or given to charity or maybe sent to Music Magpie, someone like that. Um, so they're going to be dealt with today. So they're not actually going on the shelves. I put them down by my desk. Um, but yeah, I'm going to carry on and see how we get on. We've got a load of new space in here, which is good. So we're getting there slowly. I did not even know this was there. There's a Nintendo Wii complete system with two controllers tucked away at the back of a shelf. Ridiculous. Anyway, carry on. just found a PS2 that I did actually know that I had but I didn't know where it was so slimline PS2 two controllers yeah <laughs> madness <laughs> Okay, I am going to stop there because A, I've had enough <laughs> and B, I'm going to try and get this video up tonight. So, it's not looking bad. Let me change the view and I'll show you. So this rack, which is the end one by the door, uh, still needs work, but pretty much I'm just going to tidy up the cubes. Um, yeah, there's a few other bits that need sorting out. But yeah, I've kind of had enough. Um, these are listed car parts. This is the only listed stock currently on this side, uh, apart from the cubes. So I'm gonna leave this here. These are all labeled up with their SKU numbers. There's not much left of it and it needs to just stay there. There's an odd one here, which I'm assuming is a C19. So I'm just gonna change that SKU number and get that racked up here out of the way. A couple of bits, I ran out of steam. Uh, there's some shoes there that may as well stay there to be honest. This mess is all of my spare cases. Um, yeah, I figured I'd just leave that there. There's a load of other DVDs and bits and bobs under there. I think I'm gonna leave, but we have created space lots of space and up the top a couple of meters of space then if you come down here you can see that it's just condensed stock now just stuff that needs dealing with this is my record player and stereo uh, these are incomplete ones that's something that needs dealing with that's nice yeah just stock 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 still haven't listed this even though I've repaired it now <laughs> all sorts but it is now using the space better as you can see and all down there so I don't really know what's in the loft, but I'm going to go up there soon and bring everything else down. 
and should have more than enough space on here to rack it. So I mentioned our loft just then. I will link an old video from a year or so back when we went into the loft and bought a load of stock down. Um, yeah, check that one out if you haven't seen it. It's quite an interesting one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.